Chad is the act of someone obtaining information that is considered confidential secret without the permission of the holder. <laughs> espionage. So espionage is just another fancy word for spying? Yes. Yes it is. Spies are part of a group either sent to a spy by a government or a corporation. Spying involving corporations is called industrial espionage. Why do people spy? People spy because they don't trust somebody or because they envy the information that others may have. To get information from the enemy, spies pretend to be part of the enemy's group. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Uh, do we know you? Yeah, I'm a cool kid like you. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Espionage. Espionage. You see, child, in World War I, spies would probably join the army of their enemy. They would pretend to be fighting for the enemy's country, but they are really trying to find out their secrets. For example, where they are planning to attack next, or what new weapons they have developed. What if the enemy finds out who's a spy? And they will be captured, or even tortured by the enemy, to see what they know, or what country they're from. Well, even killed, unless they find a way to escape. Are you a spy? No! You're such a liar! Espionage. That's scary. Well, sweetheart, spying is a scary thing, but that's a risk they take to support their country. It's during war that people are very scared and nervous, like the bombing of Pearl Harbor. Yeah. Did you hear that? The Pearl Harbor just got bombed. I can't believe the Japanese would do that. I know, we can't trust them anymore. Like, they may be spies. The only safe solution is to put them in internment camps. Yeah. Now you see, honeybee, America didn't have any right to put these Japanese in internment camps because they didn't have any proof that these Japanese were spies. They were just scared. Now come on, children. Let's go get some more juice and listen to Michael Jackson. That's a cute five-year-old. <laughs> Help your grandma, <laughs> child. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, he's up. She thinks she's in the 60s. I love Michael Jackson. <laughs> Espionage. So miniature camera. It can be disguised as a different object. Like so, a plug. You definitely want this for your greatest spy needs. This here, it's a pin. But guess what? It's not a pin. It's a sub-miniature camera. A camera disguised as a pin. You definitely want this object. F21 concealed camera. Small, lightweight, can take several pictures. Pen gun. It's a pen, but it's also a gun. Boom. You may wonder how people become spies. Well, they have to go through many, many, many years of training. This training will include perfecting their ability and their skill. Their placement is also depending on their ability and their skill. For example, if someone knows how to speak a language, they will, place, they will be placed to spy in a country that speaks that language. To be a spy, you have to be very talented. You have to be able to memorize things, wear a convincing disguise, act the part you play, and blend in and not be seen at all. You have to learn shadowing, and you have to be able to learn another language. Shadowing 
which is a very important in spying, is following a person, but making sure that they don't see you. As shown in this video. Who is not here? Espionage. You never know who's shadowing you. <laughs> Espionage. To train, which may take many years, spies go to spy training camps. These camps were hidden very well. The purpose of these camps was to perfect silent killing sabotage, demolition, weaponry, and Morse code. Morse code is used for an emergency. <laughs> to be a spy, you have to be able to learn and internalize these things very easily. There is a camp called Camp X, which is located on the shores of uh, the Lake Ontario in Canada. It was used for training allied spies. often have their own languages called ciphers. Ciphers are created by each country so that nobody will know what they're saying. It is important that no one can understand them because the some secrets could then leak out. Have fun at the spy museum, sweetie. Okay, mommy. Be good. World War II spies are Mata Hari and Virginia Hall. Who is Mata Hari? Actually, Allison, that was her stage name. Her real name was Margaritha Gertrudia Zelle. She was Dutch born, but she spied for Germany and she soon became a prostitute. But not. What, huh? What's a prostitute? We'll get to that later, sweetie. She became a prostitute after she divorced her husband. But and that being a prostitute helped her a lot when she was spying on military generals and such. But after, she was soon found and then executed on September 15, 1917. Who was Virginia Hall? An interesting thing about Virginia Hall was that she had an amputated leg. <laughs> but even without her leg, she volunteered her services in ambulances. Soon enough, she became a part of the British Special Operations Executive and she was assigned to go undercover coordinating in the underground resistance movement in an occupied area of France. She then escaped to Spain and then to Britain, where she then became a member of the Order of the British Empire. Espionage. Those secrets, that's the power of 